after second lecture we'll go for first lecture uh, sorry we'll go for column design and uh, we'll close it let's say to design column i'll just come here and uh run on apply here we are getting all of our design data all of our design data and if you come here you will see the reinforcement are available reinforcement are showing here as per code for column okay actually which reinforcement it's showing to check it we have to go here here it's showing longitudinal reinforcement sci 0909 but i'll go here to over check Lo sorry we'll go here total longitudinal reinforcement and click apply same same value is showing here so now to observe this situation we are seeing that everywhere we need 3.75 inches for reinforcement that means the reinforcement we are providing here this is maybe one percent the river percentage see everywhere we are getting one percent reinforcement everywhere okay so how we can resolve that issue actually uh, we will not provide one percent reinforcement anymore in this structure because this is the biggest structure and also what i can do we can decrease our column size as you have done previously so uh, i'll request you to modify your model and uh, redesign recheck reanalysis because our column are giving you the very less reinforcement so I'll right click here and here if i go over it okay also sorry we'll go if you go for interaction you have to check here or the maximum value of interaction that is 0 0.68 so till 0 0.9 it's allowed it and uh, over 0 0.8 it's most economical but here we are getting 0 0.39 for some combo we're getting 0. Point, uh, actually we're getting very less less value so i recommend you to uh, change your column size because we have taken column size as 15 into 25 but uh, for uh, the structure for 15 is today's structure it's very common column size as per my experience but for corner column you are able to uh, make some little change right click here go interaction and but here this is the scene here it's okay also it's showing one percent reinforcement but it's a uh, design capacity ratio it's almost 0 0.899 that means it's uh, almost 0 0.9 so uh, we may ignore that okay now what you can do what we can do suppose uh, you have if you want to go for like this here suppose you want to take some column as column one if you want to take some column as column two let's say the corner column always required less reinforcement so we can take the corner corner column as a column one and here we have provided the uh, high column size then we are also able to uh, recess or we are able to uh, make little bit uh, changes on that column size again again if we go for another column size or another column uh, uh, grouping then uh, the side column we can take side column as a column two and the middle column we can take as a column three okay in this way we are able to change it let's say here and here we have already a difference if uh, we have provided different column if we go in uh, click here and in the uh, grid two if we click here design display design info total longitudinal reinforcement applying here we need six inches for reinforcement okay six here also we need seven point seven nine inches for reinforcement let's say 
the column available in middle will take as a column 3 now how will design or how will uh, take reinforcement for it so first of all we have to see the maximum reinforcement here sometimes you will see for the below 2 or 3s3 it will give you high reinforcement and then it will give you low reinforcement as we are getting almost 1% reinforcement everywhere i never recommend you to use only 1% reinforcement anywhere for these steps of a structure must go for at least 1.33% reinforcement let's say here 1.3% okay so uh, for that i'll go apply and here we are getting 7.79 inch reinforcement and if i click here and 7.79 into 1. let's say 33 sorry 7.79 into 1.33 so we'll provide reinforcement for that story it's 10.60 in j square and uh, will not only provide a specific reinforcement for one story only at least for two story will provide that same reinforcement so uh, let's say for that two story i'll provide the 10.60 in j square reinforcement now how we can calculate that required area i'll come here here and uh, i'll provide here the required value 10 point how much six zero let's say six zero in c square we need this is the rig sorry here 10.6 this is the required value now if we provide eight uh 20 mm bar and eight 10 mm bar then we will provide 6.3 inches square reinforcement it's also less so if i go for 12 reinforcement and uh, 10 16 reinforcement also we need 1.64 inches square reinforcement then if we go for 12 also we need here so 16 into let's say 8 also when it's 16 to 10 so we have to provide total 20 60 20 mm river or uh, 10 10 mm uh, 10 uh, sorry uh, we have to provide 20 mm 16 river and 16 mm 10 river to cover that area okay so for two story we'll provide that reinforcement then for the above story will make the less reinforcement so uh, required us six so if we go for six six into one point that means seven point nine eight if we go here let's say uh, for above story for above story uh, uh we need how much 7.98 that means 18 inch square 18 inch square now we are able to less 2.90 inch reinforcement and for above story if we provide let's say twelve sixteen mm 12 16 mm and 8 8 12 16 mm and 8 uh, sorry 12 20 mm and 8 16 mm river then it will be also okay. so in this way you are able to arrange your column size or column design system and uh, same if you want to go for column share reinforcement for that give here uh, the maximum column dimension that is 22 and the minimum column number dimension that is 15 uh, clear span let's say 7 point, uh, for 8.75 clear span means your total column clear span that means the from uh, top of your slab to below your top beam adjusted with your column 
so let's say it's 7.5 then uh, frame type is special it's also okay number of leg let's say uh, four leg will provide so what is the meaning of four leg that means let's say we have a strap like that and also we have a strap like that and also will provide a strap like that okay so now if we take reinforcement if we cut here we'll say one two three four that means four leg clear as uh, many times we provide these times of uh, spacing uh, these times of history because of the heavy reinforcement so let's say for as we are uh, providing the huge uh, reinforcement we may we may need it so when everything is okay then and here the die of share bar 10 mm okay and here the die of a smallest long bar 16 mm and here you'll see left side 3.75 middle 7.5 and right side 3.75 and here the uh, value actually uh, here what is the distance from support in dice space i mean how much i mean till how distance will take this spacing okay 3.75 spacing till how much distance will take it so for that uh i mean will till uh 20 2 inch distance will provide this spacing from support of, of our beam uh, of our column so in this way you are able to design your column using etf's result thank you thank you very much